You gotta be dunking my donuts. You gotta be hurting my pizza. You gotta be making my Donald's, man. You're really in my outs here, buddy. You're five in my guys. You're white in my castle. You're dairy in my queen. You're steak in my shake. Y'all, but are you, are you belling my taco? Literally any true crime doc will just straight up tell you that almost every unsolved case in history is due to police incompetence or outright intentional negligence. Yep, 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 yep. Jane and Ryan on true crime. Yep, yep, <laughs> Biruni, you at the Birunis. To prove that ants counted their steps, scientists took a few out of line and attached tiny stilts to their legs. Since they took bigger steps, the ants totally walked right by the food and got confused when they walked the correct number of steps, but there was no food. Here's a picture. Conclusion? Scientists are creative and weird. Just straight up science. I can't tell what my favorite part is, but it's either scientists wasting budget and time to see if ants count their steps, the idea to put ants on stilts, there had to be a guy who made ant stilts and put them on the ants, or confused ants. Okay, who wants to hear my new conspiracy theory about lawyers? One, can't legally lie, but trade in half-truths and misleading language. Two, obsessed with contracts. Three, required to follow the letter, but not the spirit of the law. Four, really good at exploiting loopholes. And five, range from semi-helpful to openly malevolent. Conclusion? Fairies. <laughs> well, I mean... The places where we do our main business are often called courts, so it's not like we're trying that hard to hide it. I knew it. The lawyers are the freaking fae! Me puts a lot of thought into a post, hoping it'll get attention. People. Hmm. Me makes a random post about Tumblr follower hallucinations and things that got spooky. People. Yes! This is the one that will get on the YouTubes! Well, the only surefire way to get you back on YouTube is to get PMC more into sender sites. You know, he actually hinted that he liked the show, I think. Your wish is my command. I'm gonna screenshot this now. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm PMC Moore. This is my YouTube. Wait, they want to know if I like Sanders or not. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, uh, well, okay. I guess I have to say it. <clears throat> Thomas Sanders is a precious freaking bean and I will protect him with my life. Why is it canceled in the UK, but canceled in America? Because we gave you that L in 1776. And because we gave you that L in 1776. Oh, I actually know the answer to this one. American newspaper ads charged by the letter. So a lot of people would eliminate unnecessary letters like the second L in canceled or the U in color. Some of these spelling changes were used so often that they stuck and now Americans just spell some words differently. In summary, Americans spell things weird because capitalism. Shit, I didn't want that to be the right answer. Does anyone feel like school subjects have their own specific color? Math is blue, right? No, math is red! Math is in fact red! Math is blue, y'all! English is red! Oh, fucking excuse you. English is green. Okay, Pat, can you rate your OCs on how warm your hugs are? Finally, a rating system up my alley. Alright, buckle up, Biscuit, here we go! Nerva, a six. Forearms are nice for hugging, but he's cold-blooded. Would be more ideal on a hot summer day. Kevin, my boy, my man. Nine, he's a big man. Hugs are high-risk gamble, for he may crush your ribcage, but in a nice way. The slimes, yeah, straight up five. Sticky or filmy hugs, but all lovely fruit scents. Owie, an eight. Hugs with tail, it's absolutely precious. Azuri, a six. Same with Kevin, but also cold. Chie, nine. Maximum floof hug. Would absolutely recommend. The babies. Ten. Small beads that make happy noises when being hugged. And finally, Sienna. Do it. Like hugging a marshmallow that provides hair stroking and reassurance that everything will be okay. Highly recommended on Yelp. Honestly surprised no one has tried to make the ocean tiny. Um, Pucky, it's a lake. You think you're so fucking smart, but a snail sat's an ocean. What about a puddle? <laughs> Don't make me bring ants into this. The perfect employee doesn't exist. My local hardware store has a dog that follows you around and takes your items to the counter for you. <gasps> employee of the month every month! More like employee of the universe! Don't feel bad if you're sensitive to negative feedback, because apparently after one particular bad review, Hans Christian Andersen was found just sobbing while laying face down in the dirt. <laughs> you left out the best part, though. He was crying face down in the dirt of Charles Dickinson's yard. 
where he had been staying for weeks, long overstaying his welcome, and was annoying the fuck out of Dickens. Why is that beautiful? My gay brother walks into the room without a shirt on. Hey, topless. Him. Well, you don't have to rub it in that I'm single. Uh, um... Oh god, it took me a minute. I don't get it. I get it. Guys, this is my favorite picture on the internet. There is no reason to keep up with the internet. I have found the best of the best. Oh my god, Angel Doge. Dude, my hand smells like sulfur. Holy shit, it's like poison death. It's like what mammoths died in. I'm so fucking strong. Yeah, but have you seen the PS5 stream? I could rid your body of all moisture and nutrients with one wave of my stench hand. I want to sit in a lap and I want to hold a hand. Do they have to be attached? I love your need to make everything cute sound creepy. I love that. Well, it's funny how you can make everything sound creepy and wrong, but the things that you like make this creepy. Skittles are very good. Well, it depends where you put them. Dude, you challenged a god and failed. One thing boomers don't appreciate is how much easier it is to learn new vocab words when reading digital materials. If I'm reading for fun and I come across a new word, I'm probably not going to look it up if I don't have a digital device nearby. When reading ebooks, it's as easy as right-clicking. What are you talking about? Boomers don't appreciate anything. This, my own post, came flying back to break my neck like a boomerang. Today I learned that because of a mistranslation, Jimmy Carter told the Polish people in 1977 that he desired them carnally. And that he had left the United States to never return. I mean, has anyone seen Jimmy Carter recently? I think he's there. Oh, uh, kitten goes, Mike! Cats can have a little salami. As a punishment. How many vampires do you think have been hit by a car backing up in a parking lot because the driver couldn't see their reflection? You know, I've never considered it, but you're really shining light on what's possibly a very serious issue. Okay, I'm just saying. I would really hope they'd notice a car coming towards them, or else they are truly the worst apex predator ever. This is also an extremely fucking valid point. Fuck it up, buttercup. Go for the kiddle, daffodil. Fight my power, sunflower. Riot, bitch! Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I'm gonna let you on a secret. I'm lit as fuck right now, man. Shit, look at my hands. Behold, foot. Ah! The beans are growing nicely this year. What if you woke up one day and you were hot? I don't know, I'd probably open the window or something. Oh my god, I can't breathe. I don't know, you should probably open up a window or something. Someone. You know, Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it's doing to your body. Me. Pfft, getting rid of the rust, idiot. That's not how it works! That sounds like somebody who needs the rust removed from their body. Okay, Pete! May I request a drawing of a circle? Okay, here you go. Um. OP, that's a sphere. They said to draw a circle, so that's the Earth.